Hey guys, it's Justine. And I'm Jenna. Welcome to episode 42 of the Same Brain Podcast. Today is a special WWDC wrap up. Yay! Let's roll that intro. WWDC, Jen. It happened. It did happen. It was so rapid fire. I was trying to live tweet while also making notes to prepare for, you know, my wrap up video. I got so tired about an hour in. I was like, I can't keep doing this. I missed half of it because there was a lot happening and I kept trying to catch up and I'm like, what did I miss? And then I'd get on Twitter and then I would miss 10 other things. And I'm like, ooh, it happened quick. It did happen very quick. A lot of good announcements. There was, there was so much. So we're just going to dive right in. Um, The first thing, obviously, if you've never heard of WWDC before, Welcome. It's a a developers conference, which used to be in person. We went before. Two years ago and the year before that, I Mm -hmm. think. And then you've gone a couple other times, maybe? Yeah, I believe so. And it's such a fun event because you really do get to not only see other creators, people in the media, but you actually get to meet the developers, the people that are actually creating the things that I feel like sometimes you don't really... I mean, I just feel like a lot of people probably... I don't know how to even say it. It's like most normal people who don't really understand technology, I don't think realize how much goes into creating apps and how much development and how much goes into it, you know? I mean, I don't because I've never created an app, so I actually can't imagine. It's a lot. I, and, yeah, I would assume. And a lot of the things that they announced, like they were talking about X Cloud, um, X Code in the cloud is, is kind of incredible because a lot of processes have to take place to be able to test all of these apps across multiple devices. So it's like you're testing on old phones, new phones, old computers, and you want to make sure that those all work. So with like this new Xcode cloud, which is kind of cool, you're able to kind of do that way quicker. That is a lot to take in. I don't think in. they announced the price of that, but there there is pricing involved. Oh, oh yeah. I don't think they did either. That is very interesting. I don't know anything about coding, not going to lie. This was kind of exciting. They also were announcing, speaking of coding, I was like, wait a minute. So we started this podcast because I got an iPad yes. and they said that you could make podcasts on the iPad. Well, now you can make apps on the iPad. And so your iPhone, right? Yeah, so they've opened up Swift Playground, so you're going to be able to to do that, which is kind of kind of exciting. So I tweeted that I was going to get back into coding. Is there going to be an iJustine app? I have an idea of something that I want to make. I know what it it's is. It's a game. It's a game. Yep, it's a game. There for it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, mm-hmm. I know. I already know. I think you've said it before. I have said it before, okay. but I don't want to say it again because now I want to try to make it or at least like you're, make a small version okay. of it. And then let somebody else take over because I always have these grand ideas of things that I want to do and there's not enough time in the day to do it all. There is not. I feel very tired. Like I'm so tired. I've been on conference calls nonstop recording videos. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. If, if So I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, you can always move the microphone away for your cough. You just never you, seem to do that. I don't. <clears throat> there she goes. As Tay Day would say, you move the mic away so you can breathe. Yes. I feel like I'm having trouble breathing. Only because we're in the basement. We are like, in the East Coast. It, the humidity was 98% humid. Uh, like that's just moisture being sucked into my lungs. Yeah, we've I been on like the East it. Coast for a very long time. So we are in a new location. Uh, if, you, if you can't tell, again, we're in my sister's basement. Mm-hmm. I have been kind of basically setting this up as a studio for the past week. But going into WWDC, because that's what this is all about, iOS 15. Ooh. Jenna, Ooh. I have it actually installed on this phone right here. I also have it on my iPad in front of me and oh. one of these Macs will have Monterey on it very soon. Do you remember when we were sitting here a couple days ago before the event happened Yes, and we were discussing what we thought the name would be? Yeah, I believe you said Monterey or we both, I think you said it first and I was like, what about Carmel? Cause I was like, oh man. But then we we're like, that's too close. Like too physically close to Big, to Big Sur. Sur. But then Carmel and Monterey are very close together as well. Yeah. So then I was like, oh, well, Carmel's pretty. But then I was like, but that's right by Monterey. And Monterey and Carmel are right by Big Sur. And it doesn't flow. Like Mac OS Carmel. Nah. It's not bad. Uh, Mac OS Catalina. Mm, Mac I like OS that. Big Sur. Mac yeah. OS. Um, well, it's a really good point that you're making. It's valid. I will let it go. I said, but, I said potentially Tahoe. You did, but then you're like, well, Tahoe's in Nevada, but it's also in also California. In California. Yeah, I know. There's a part of it. When we went to Tahoe, Nevada, you didn't have to wear a mask and you could dine indoor, but in California, you had to wear a mask and you couldn't dine indoor. So there was like this like weird, like border kind of thing happening. It's like, it, it, was, it was so strange. quite silly. iOS 15. Okay. okay. FaceTime got a lot of updates. It's a more natural, comfortable, and lifelike experience with spatial audio and voice isolation, which is kind of cool because they did in the demo, they showed 
a uh, like a leaf blower that was in the background mm-hmm. and you, you couldn't hear it. That's cool. It is cool, but does it actually work? Well, it seemed to work in the demo, but- We're I'll, gonna have to get a leaf blower to test this out fully. Honestly, we just need to use it because he, there's a small child and two dogs that are going absolutely crazy. It's been quite difficult filming in the basement because everyone and all the action is happening above the basement. And this child just just nonstop stomp, stomp, stomp. So like trying to yeah. record videos on video calls. Like we <laughs> need that now. Oh, we honestly, well, I, I guess I have it. So sure. well, I'll try it. Um, they also have a wide spectrum audio. So that'll be able to pick up everything. So you can choose which of those that you want to use. And all of this stuff too is interesting because it is an open API. So you're able to use that in your apps. And that's why this event is so important. It's because it's showing us the possibilities. And then that's kind of opening that up to developers to start creating. So devs, we love you. We see you. I'm going to kind of maybe, you know, be like a little poser here for a second and try to start creating an app. And then maybe one of you guys can take over and finish it for me. That sounds nice. I'm not sound. going to try. I just, I'm just overwhelmed. But I did. I mean, that, that used to be my job. And that was something that I really wanted to be. Like I basically started my computer career because I wanted to be a programmer. I was so into it. And then I was like, oh, I love designing. This is so much more fun is like making the interfaces. But now with things like Swift Playground and Swift, like you, you kind of are doing both of those things because it gives you kind of that drag and drop sort of experience. So hyped to try it out. I do wish I had a better understanding. I've never played around with it. Maybe I should take a course. Maybe you I want to take, take a course. We can take a course. It'll be great. Probably should. Um, grid view for FaceTime. They now have like these FaceTime links and you're able to schedule your FaceTime, which is kind of cool. And I think there was some misconception um, before we continue, do you see that that light is actually not on all three of its legs? It is on the power adapter. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's you guys, super unstable. This light, so it's like a massive light. It's on a C-stand and Uh-oh. one of the little legs is like- oh. Did I do that? I, I didn't do that. Uh-oh. You must, Did I do that? Did you do that? I probably did Somebody that. did it. Well, so if, if you hear a big boom, it could either be the baby running upstairs or this light that's gonna tumble yeah. over and bring the camera with it. So it's all gonna fall over. So I'm just gonna like let it happen. Yeah, that's okay. fine. That's fine. So share play. Wait, FaceTime Wait, links. FaceTime links. So does this mean that people on Android can now join as well? Yes, and you can join on browser, PC, Mac, whatever. But here's the, here's the catch. Oh. You can still do the FaceTime, but things like share play and things that require iOS, that is only iOS to iOS. So you're not gonna be able to do the screen play, share play. I thought you um, could though. No, no, you can, but not when you're doing cross platform. So it won't work on Android ah, or on- um, I see. On browser. But I see. the fact that you can now do FaceTime on Android is, is pretty cool. Do we think that this is a predecessor to iMessage? Um, possibly. We were talking about yesterday on a live stream, somebody mentioned that if we could have to pay or if you would like pay a subscription for iMessage, like three ninety nine. dollars Oh yeah. You could, listen, you can get gold. Like you can change your color. Like you'd be like, Ooh. I'm a premium payer. I have a gold like speech button. So like you wouldn't bubble. mind seeing gold, then how come green really irks you? Green irks me. So it irks me. Exactly. But I'll tell you what, when I'm on the other side of that and I'm sending the message from an Android, don't care. Yeah, I don't care. Doesn't bother me at all. You know why? Because it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Nope. Doesn't affect me. I don't know what's happening. Don't know. But I also will say that I like that um I do like the links because I feel like anytime we're trying to do a family FaceTime, like oh. someone will send like a join FaceTime. I never see it. Yeah. Cause like sometimes it'll pop up or sometimes it, it just doesn't pop up. And then I click back to the group chat and I'm like, wait, you guys had a family FaceTime without me? Like I didn't get yeah. a notification. Well, I also have a lot of my notifications turned off. So I miss a lot of things. So, which is kind of interesting with this new focus feature because I have a lot of notifications turned off. Like I have to actively go to my messages to see them. I turned off the little uh, notification button, like the little red thing. So I don't know if there's messages. Oh. I turned off all the, like everything. I like the focus because it will it will tell someone if they text you, it'll come up as like a display, like they have on uh, more yeah. focus mode. So that's actually interesting. And then didn't they set in some new, like um, some options where you can customize, like if there's an emergency or like yes. if they text you or call you so many times. Cause I thought they had the before. So if you had on do not disturb, but if you had someone in your favorites and they called you, I thought it was supposed to be able to go through, but I don't think it ever worked. I think it works because the other day, like my dad called me and I had my do not disturb on cause it was like late over wherever I was. And like it went through. Maybe which they I fixed was, this, but maybe this was a year ago. It didn't work. Cause I was so surprised. I was like, how did I hear this phone call? It was crazy. So I was, I was actually very glad that I, I got the call, but 
um, to that same note, the focus mode is cool. So you're able to set all of these different modes and then that will kind of like transform your phone into that work mode. So you'll basically have those apps that you need for your work. You'll only get notifications from coworkers and all of that kind of stuff. Um, I just felt like an away message. I don't think you can do that. That would be cool. That just says like, just leave me alone. Yeah. Like I do, like I'm <laughs> not interested in talking to you. Just leave me alone. Um, oh my God, away messages like a, like AIM back in the day. I thought of that too. And I was talking about that in the predictions video. I feel like that's something that's possible. Cause I mean, if you're doing the focus mode, there's various different like modes that you can choose. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely into that. I am super into that. Like bring back the good old days of AIM, AOL, whatever. Setting your away message, putting up those emo statuses, you know, when you're in a real mood. Mm, yeah, I'm in oh, mood. this is fantastic. It's like subtweeting, but it was it was like an away message. Oh my God, yeah. I was so like, how pathetic. Yeah, I really do not miss being um, no, every- small brained and honestly kids teenager. if you're listening for you're younger like let doesn't me just matter. tell you no. things get better and it doesn't matter it, it's seriously it does like I think back to the times when I was younger and I thought like this was like the end of everything like e- this is the most terrible thing that's gonna happen to me ever things get worse and things get better yeah so just prepare yourself if things are bad right now they're gonna get better and then you know what honestly they're probably, probably, get worse they're again. probably gonna get worse but then it'll um, probably get better yeah it's, it's, a, really it's a roller coaster say. yeah this is this is really motivational. Yeah. Um, no, so I think it's not motivational. It's true. It's true in life. You know, you there's a new collage design for photos when you're in a group message. And you can also have the option to add those automatically to your library. I like that. I like shared with you as well because we are constantly sending pictures, links, and anytime I'm like, oh, how do I have to go back through our group chat to find where this picture was? It's messy. We also, whenever we're trying to book like houses and stuff. Oh. There's been so many times I've sent you hotel links or you've sent me links. You've sent me links? There's been you've a few. You've sent me links. There was this one in Big Sur that I kept sending you and I could never find it. You sent me a link? Get that, get out of here. I sent you links. I've sent you links. I send you hundreds of Airbnbs and you don't look at any of them. <laughs> not a single uh, one. Yeah, we're, but we're, and then like- Now uh, with shared with me, I'll be able no, to see no, them. No, because you're still not going to look at it. And then it's we'll true. show up and you'll be like, oh, I didn't know this had this. I'm like, did you not click the link that I spent days looking at? <laughs> Ah. days anyway yes it's good to have that no it is and no but i'm just thinking there are i've sent you some links you've definitely by far sent me thousands more links i just want to let you know that olive garden let me know it's national best friends day and oh. i just want to say now i'm thinking about breadsticks over the past two months i've eaten olive garden more than i have in the last 10 years no you haven't um yeah i have i don't know what to tell you <laughs> it's National Best Friends Day and Olive Garden is celebrating. Oh my God, Olive Garden salmon is delicious. Mm, the cheese ravioli. Um, so the shared with you will also work in like uh, music as well, things like that. You Do you know? think you could ever see yourself listening to music with someone over FaceTime? No. Or watching a movie? No. No, absolutely. That's, I would literally, I would rather- I'd rather not watch I would movie. rather not, but- to that point, it is nice. I will say a lot of you guys I know watch content together. Yes, and I think that is very nice. No, it's so cool because I know some of you guys listen and watch our podcast together mm-hmm. over Discord. Yes. So like this feature is actually incredible because we might be outliers. I'm mm-hmm. probably never gonna watch anything with anyone ever. No, because I mean, actually, I could see if like if you're like traveling and like you're watching a show with someone, you're like, you wanna watch the new episode maybe, but I just feel like when I'm watching a show, I'm just like, I'm gonna watch it myself. I feel like this could be really good for like a, like school. Like if you have to watch like a movie or something and like have discussions during it, but like Here, online school. So I also know a lot of know. you guys and a lot of kids and stuff, they have been watching, like they watch shows together, like over Zoom and things like that. And this is a much better experience. So it How is- How do you know? Have you experienced it? Um, No, but I've seen the demos. Oh, well, they're not gonna show a demo that looks bad. Well, no, but I'm saying the whole, the, what the process of it is because you'll be able to see- the actual video that you're watching. And then you see mm-hmm. like your little FaceTime up there. And it's cool because you could also send this to like your TV with AirPlay. So if we're watching a video or something together, I can be watching my mainstream content like on yes. the screen. Okay. Now here's where it gets a little tricky because of like copyright and things like that. The developers or whoever, whatever content you're watching, they determine like what happens when you send somebody something. So say I have a Disney plus subscription and you don't. Yes. You're going to also have to have a subscription. Possibly. Possibly. Well, no, that would make sense. Well, yeah. But I'm saying like they can have the option of giving you like a free trial or maybe like the first hour free or something like that. 
So they really can oh, choose however they want to do it. Yeah, that 100% makes sense because then people would just be like, exactly. Let me, fa- I mean, that seems like a lot of effort, but hey, I mean, all these subscriptions add up. I'm they, still on your Netflix because I'm not paying for that. That's I, fine. No, I love Netflix. Here's the problem. I actually don't mind paying for it, but the algorithm, yeah. my algorithm has already been set into your guest profile. For sure. But, and then also, but that's made for families. So you're allowed that to we have are family. up to like five people. I pay extra so we can have a family subscription. I don't pay anything. That's but okay. Like, what I'm saying is I'm a grown adult and I could, but now I'm like, well, what about my algorithm? It's always telling me- No, it's fine. You might like this. And I usually do. I don't mind at all. I actually, um, somebody hacked my Netflix or credit card <gasps> and I actually was paying for five or six subscriptions in other countries- and then I like went through and was like doing my taxes. I'm like, this is strange. Why is Netflix it charging? Was it was so thousands weird. Thousands of dollars. Yeah. And then, I, and then like I called, Netflix was great. They're like, hmm, that's kind of fishy. Let's fix it. And they go, hold on a second. I'm trying to find somewhere. Did you like, ever get your money on. back? That's what I heard. Then they were like, hold on a second. Oh yes, this is a problem. All right, uh, you'll see your uh, refund f- of the last year of seven subscriptions. <laughs> Do you actually get a refund? Just like store credit. Yeah, no, I got a refund, uh, which is actually great. Um, okay, so, God, there's so many things. Uh, the live text feature in iOS was awesome. Oh. You, did you see that? Yeah, you just take a picture of it? Yes. I feel like that's not new. Well, it's not a new technology, but it is kind of new for this to be built in to like the camera app and the spotlight feature. So if you take screenshots, all of that is now textual. So you can search, you can copy it. And with Quick Note on the iPad, which I'm going to show you this, watch, check out. Yeah, check let me see out. Quick Note because I think I was kind of confused with how it actually worked. We can't show you this yet, but basically you just go like this. You swipe up from the side and then you freaking can write something. Oh, okay. And then this is saved. That's fantastic. You can also now do tags as well. Yes. Correct. And hashtags. All right. I like that. Um, I'm struggling to breathe and talk because I'm so physically exhausted. And why does this microphone feel so heavy? Feels this so microphone heavy. feels like we're holding up a cinder block and trying to discuss what's going on. But we can move on. Are we? Yeah. Oh, no, God, no, 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 no. Like, we, we, so have, we have the wallet to talk about with digital identity. Oh, dude, we have so much. We have so much to talk about. Oh, the photo memories. Oh. Um, so they have, you can like choose like really cool music they did in the demo. It was like they chose Imagine Dragons and it'll automatically do AI of your of like some of your memories. You know how they, I missed they that. that? Yeah. I missed and that little demo. I tweeted something about like being able to remove someone. Like, yes, very important. It's like, okay. So they kind of have that feature already. It says that you want to see less of this person, but I'm like, I want to see none of this person. I want to see none of this person and I never want to see them again. But here's the thing. Like, I don't want to delete the photos because those are, that's like, a, like a, it's still there. I don't want to delete them, but I don't ever want to see <laughs> it again. <laughs> That is true. And that's the thing that with, I know I'm skipping ahead, but watch OS. It's like, we're going to display yes. a photo. And I'm like, no, no. What if you display a bad memory? It's I, like Facebook. Facebook always popping up like four years ago, you were doing this. And I'm like, I don't, don't care. I don't want to know. I mean, I know you, there's settings, but there is. And I think that there needs to be some more refined settings of like, okay, great. You have your algorithm. You've got your AI that, that this thinks that you want to do these things, but I want to be more specific. I want to say, if it's Hey, a, yeah. Like, can we just say we don't want to see this? Like Apple, like you guys should know. You have all of the information. You should know that like this is pro- this is like an ex-boyfriend I don't want to see. Yeah, You like, guys know, but you're Apple. You know you I have haven't- to know. You have to know I haven't talked to this person in <laughs> years. Come on. Don't be showing their face up we there. We don't want it. We don't want to talk to you. You literally know what we're saying to everyone at you all times. You know time. who I'm talking you know. to. You know. I mean, it's happening all on device, you, you not think, outside. Not you outside. You think I want to talk to someone for three or four years ago? Yeah, I want their face to pop up. No. I don't want it. Come on, no, Apple. No, 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 no. We, know, we know you can be better. <laughs> you know what we're doing. Um, no, I mean, they have. They do have this option, but I do feel like there's there's got to be some more refinement to it. Yeah, I mean, I don't really care. If it shows up, I'm just going to be like, that's eh, fine. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, I just remember that my life is better now. That's what I remember. Yeah. Anyway, so um, wallet. Digital <laughs> identity. You can put your your driver's license or your yeah. ID or, I mean, I would you know, we put our Vax cards in there. What's up? So I did this World of Warcraft project. Yes. Uh, and they sent like this really cool like box of goodies. Oh. This is the first time that somebody has sent a vaccine card holder. So I now have a World of Warcraft freaking vaccine card holder and I could not be happier. That is the nerdiest thing I have heard. Like you're a nerd, like, which is fine. Like being a nerd is cool, but like that is like next level nerd. <laughs> it's so next level. Oh wow, my that's gosh. That's fantastic. Your I first. I know my first vaccine card. Holder. Holder. 
Wow. I, I just shoved mine with my passport, which is. That's what I did. But now I shoved. Um, actually, your passport is in the car. Why? I, found it. I don't my know. My passport's yep. in the car. It's in the car. I saw it. I put it in the glove compartment. So if, if Jenna <laughs> loses, if anybody, if Jenna can't find her passport. They're going to steal it. Well, by this point, you're hopefully it just, they're going to help us. They're going to take it and sell it. They're going <laughs> to sell my VAX even, card. They don't even know what car you have. I don't right even now. know what car <laughs> it was. It, I have no idea. Oh my God. It's gone. My passport and my vaccine card. It's gone. Missing. Digital. This is why we need digital identity, identity. because having physical things like this is Sucks. stupid. So you you'll can be also able to put it on your watch OS, which yep. is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It's all connected. Um, I'm definitely excited about that. I feel like there's going to be a lot of question about like how this works because I feel like a lot of people are not going to be comfortable with that, but I know they are working with the TSA to make this all kind of go through and, and actually happen. I mean, TSA, oh, oh, I've almost she fallen. Has hit I just want you to also know that this is sitting on top of a- It's a little, little tykes, tykes uh, car. It's pink, it's got eyes, and that's what I have the iPad here's sitting on. A, here's the thing about TSA. I mean, they have my retina scan. They have my eyes. Oh, clear. Clear. But well, I, it's all the same, right? Is it? Because I don't know if that's a part of TSA because clear. So then who's clear? Just some random it's a, agency? It's a private, that, I think it's actually a private company. So we, I have given my retina yep. scan to a private company who works with TSA? Yeah, I'm it's assuming. like TSA approved. Honestly, don't so know. So then I feel like they would have access to the database if like I become a criminal and they're like, we need to scan the retinas of all these cameras. Yeah. Hey, TSA, hey, clear. Give me your content. Probably, potentially. I didn't read the contract when I signed up. I There's also, a contract? Yeah. That makes sense. I think I, I, did I buy that for you? Yeah, I don't pay for that. Once again, I am just freeloading off of you for these fantastic, <laughs> but you know what? You're on my AAA. Thank you. You and, are on my AAA. <laughs> but I got a discount when I added a family member. I didn't get a discount for AAA. Well, it was probably cheaper than Clear and Netflix. Tri AAA? Yeah. Oh, it's like forty dollars. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Clear. It was. A, it might have been a little more than that. Forty dollars. Okay. <laughs> it might have been thirty-two dollars. Oh shoot. Okay. A, so a, a there's a new weather app. <laughs> you know what? You could also put your AAA card in your wallet, so you don't have. I to, should do that because I can never it, freaking find it. So bringing this back, it's in my wallet. Um, new weather. There's a new design. I'm a 31 year member. I uh, wait. <laughs> You're not, you've only been driving for not that many. There's new maps. There's 3D AR maps. So if you get lost, you can put your phone up and be like, which way do I go? We're yeah, only, augmented reality. Only works in San Francisco right now. Well, what the heck? Nobody wants to go Dude, there. It's there's still crime. in beta. I love San Francisco. It's pretty, but there's crime. There's crime every freaking where. It's true. Among AirPods. Citizens. I thought that they were going to announce some new AirPods, but there was really no hardware announcements, which is fine because that just is, I was like, I, I really don't, I'm exhausted. I don't want to work anymore. So please don't. Um, please don't release anything for a couple of weeks. I need some time. I'm so tired. Digest. I'm just going to melt out of this chair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just melting. We've been traveling like back and forth from LA back to Pennsylvania. And dude, traveling now is garbage. It's chaotic. There's we, less planes, which means that these planes are like more, oh. they're, they're completely full, 100% full. And there's absolutely no social distancing. There, mm -mm. People have no disregard. Like they don't care. They don't wear their mask. They just push you and like touch you. And <gasps> it's just a really not great experience. We um, had an overnight flight to, to uh, Pittsburgh and <laughs> So it was one of the with a layover. You, yeah, but there's one of these massive international planes at a gate that is not made for international um, um, that many Travel. people. Yeah. So many people. Oh my! I was like disgusted. I and it was just absolutely terrible. It was just there was no no <sighs> airflow. No, there was nowhere to sit, nowhere to stand. I started panicking. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna have a panic attack at midnight. And oh, but the plane was lovely. Delta Delta was oh fantastic. My God, I, had a <gasps> I have had nothing but terrible times on American Airlines. I'd like to say uh, the Delta pilot came out and gave us wings. Jenna thought he was offering chicken he was wings. Like, Do you want wings? I go like to eat, <laughs> and then. He pulls out, I was like, oh my God, wings. So we got wings. We also got plane cards, oh. which I also thought he said playing cards. No, plane. Like, oh my God, he's giving us all these things to do. Um, so that was very nice. The captain came out and he's like, are there any kids in first class? And he, he looks, looks down us. and sees us. And he's like, <laughs> close enough. You look like, like you're five. Close enough. I'm like, I've got like a blankie on and like, oh, oh. rub it in. Forgot my blanket in pillow. Hey, BYOB and P. And here's the thing. Normally, BYOB and P. Even in like regular regular class like usually overnight flights they always give you like a throwaway pillow or something and there was none Not of that anymore. it was like get COVID on the plane times. and like get to your destination you're lucky that you're on this plane i was lucky i was lucky we made it and we are still well and because well, i missed here. my first one and my luggage my luggage was carrying on with me and i'm like i don't know where my luggage ah. is gonna end up talk about that yes my luggage this Speak, is a great okay, this story is, oh yeah, okay <laughs> here we go so 
I got my air tags. I was about to get on a plane and I thought, oh, I have an extra air tag. I should throw it into my suitcase because I bought a four pack and I only use one. So I should do this. Yeah. So I throw, I throw it into my luggage. My first thought was, is this allowed? Because isn't there some type of battery in here? <sighs> yeah, there's a battery. It's so small. The, it's like a lithium. You know, like you're fine. It better not be a lithium because then no. I have been a liar. Yeah, no, you can't. No, you're TSA. fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're good. So then I was thinking, do I really care at this point in my life? No. So I threw in the air tag. Um, I go to the oh. airport. I it's at American Airlines once again. Very big plane, international layover in Dallas, Dallas to Pittsburgh. The last time I took this exact same plane, exact same route, small layover. I missed my flight. I missed my layover in Dallas because I was late. And I go, well, here we go. I'm gonna try it again. I get on the plane. I get a notification. There's a 30 minute delay to board, and I'm like, or 30 minute delay, whatever. And I'm like, okay, at this point, I'm gonna land, and my plane's gonna take off. So I was like, I should just get off the plane. And I asked the flight attendant, I go, should I just get off the plane? She's like, ah, it's up to you. Um, you'll, you, is this, you, yeah. and I'm like, okay, there's no other later flights out, blah, 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 blah. Then they eventually say there's bad weather in Dallas. Everybody has to get off the plane. So they were delayed a couple hours at this point. I'm like, I'm going home because I'm going to miss my flight. I don't want to be stuck in Dallas because there's no other flights. So I'm just going to go home. So I go home. And at this point, my baggage was already loaded on the plane. So I can't do anything. They're like, we would reroute it, but we don't know where it's going to end up. So, so I'm like, you know what? The my luggage, my luggage is, is on, on its own journey. I'm plane. going home. So then I was like, oh my God, I have my air tag in it. <laughs> so I'm just like tracking it, tracking it, tracking it. It eventually makes it to Dallas. It hangs out at Dallas for 30 hours right by Auntie Anne's. Auntie Anne's? Oh my gosh. What's you, the pretzel? It's Auntie Anne's. There's pretzel. I know what you're talking about. It's it hanging out delicious. right by Auntie Anne's and terminal like A2. And I'm like, okay. And then the next day I check, I'm like, it made it to Pittsburgh. This is great. And then... At the time I got the alert, or at the time I actually looked at Pittsburgh, I got a phone call from Pittsburgh baggage telling me, asking me where I was. You're like, I didn't get on the plane, dude. They said, you don't have an itinerary. I said, I know I canceled it. <clears throat> so anyway, the air tag tracking it made me do, it did make me feel better. Um, even though American Airlines does have the baggage, you know, tracking system, it's, it's not really reliable. I was able to track the air tag and find my luggage and track it. And I was like, cool. So I also had a lot of very important things in there. You did. You had an embargoed item in there. I had two That's embargoed fine. items in there. Oh, two. Great. And one that I needed to make a video about. Mm. Two. Thanks. Yeah. Mm. Air um, tags are cool. They are cool. And now they've added the ability to add proximity finding for your AirPods, which is great because I lose them all the time. I don't use mine. I love my AirPods. My yeah. little ones. I love my little original ones. Yeah, I like those. Absolutely. Are my favorite. favorite. Yeah. Um, Siri has some new voices, new features. Um, they've added speech recognition on device, so the audio never leaves. They did talk a lot about privacy, which is very important. Also, iCloud recovery. You can add some emergency contacts, which is great, because if I need to recover my account, I can add you as a contact. Honestly, do I want to be bothered, though? Because I get a lot of your alerts sometimes, and you're like, I need that. I'm like, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, it's all fine. No, that is good. That's good to have options. Cause well, I think that's good for like our parents and then like even our sister Brie. Mm -hmm. uh, I get daily recovery notices for her. I like I think anytime she logs into her email, she forgets the password. She resets it. Every single Just day. They also have legacy, which you can have your entire account be transferred to someone after you pass away, which is really sad. I didn't sad. even hear that. You didn't? No, just delete it. Delete me. Delete me from the cloud. Well, that's what you, you can set it to do whatever. So like- if Like you, if I go, all my information goes. Okay, fine. Yes. No, send to, do, give me access and then Why I Why do you have to have access? Oh. Well, because if you go, I know what to do. And if I go, you know what to do. And if we this both is, go, then we need to, we got to add somebody like, like a nobody. fourth party. No. No. This is what no, would they be, have to get rid of it. This would, what would be good is if like we did have a chip implanted into us where it's like, if this chip is connected to my phone, like if this self destructs, so does everything with my name on it. Yes. Poof. Like, well, I not everything. Not my money can go somewhere good. We could, um, yeah, yeah, like cell phone. Poof. Yeah, get you want to put Bitcoin. Get my Bitcoin. I don't have many Bitcoin, but my Ethereum though. ETH to the moon. Uh, right now, dude, we are digging. Like we're so far in a hole, it's like not even funny. Not really. We're better than where we were a year ago. Yeah. No. 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 I mean, considering where we were. And now we hear. I honestly don't know. Me either. Moving on. Um, yeah, iCloud Legacy. They also um, have HomeKit secure video. So you'll be able to uh, see all your cameras. I got to figure out. I've never actually used that. You've never used HomeKit? No, I've used HomeKit, but not for my video. Oh. Or like my security. Um, health. They have She's lying. She uses it all the time. She's constantly watching. No, no, no. 
I'm so, stay away. Well, I'm constantly watching, but not through HomeKit. So I'm kind of interested to try that out. Um, that is interesting. Yeah. So um, let's see here. Health. They've talked a lot about that. Mobility with the steadiness. Did you see that? The walking did, yes. steadiness, which is kind of cool. It's interesting because they have so much data. So it's like, I mean, I always have my phone like in my yoga pants and much. Which is fine. That's an acceptable method as long as it's close to your hips. Yes. I know. Yeah. See, they know all this information, but yet they don't know. I don't want to see a picture of someone from five years ago. I mean, trust me. I know. Like, I know. <laughs> um, I'm so funny. Hilarious. It's just crazy. Oh my God. Why don't I have a show? I don't, I guess we kind of do. Oh. Mm. Yeah, weird. Dude, why are we always sitting uncomfortable? Things? I don't know. This chair sucks. It's like, this needs to be renamed the most uncomfortable podcast ever. Our new podcast set is going to be so comfortable. We are going to literally be sitting in freaking clouds. I feel like we need some type of like sponsor. Do you think? What? Living oh, spaces. Living spaces. Oh my God. We need living spaces oh to okay. sponsor us. Wait, can you imagine? Oh my God, you're going crazy. You're Could crazy. you imagine? Shh, shh, crazy. This podcast is brought to you by living spaces. Living spaces. Bowie, what do you think about living spaces? This is a, this dog's crazy. Guys, Maddie. Oh um, my God. We can't talk about it. Maddie got a bad haircut. Got I don't a, want to talk yeah, about he it. He got a bad haircut. But it's honestly, like he needed it because it is so hot and humid here and he keeps getting ticks on him. But honestly, like here's the thing. She did not cut his ears or his tail, and those are his most valuable features. Yeah. Okay, but the but 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 the rest of his body is completely God. shaved. I said, do not shave this dog. I said, a, uh, a cut, a trim. Do not shave him. Everything but his ears and tail are shaved. And I I told Justine, I go Justine, I refuse to let the internet see him. I said, this is private. I wouldn't want to be seen if this was me. I said, but I'm also not opposed to making him an OnlyFans account. So if you want to see his bad haircut, it's, you're going to have to pay for it on OnlyFans. <laughs> so his private body can't be seen anywhere else. So uh, <laughs> our dog is going to have an OnlyFans here very shortly. Um, I love the idea. No, I think it's gonna be great. And then maybe we can even like, you know, do a like a, a proceeds of it goes yes, to like to a some type of foundation dog shelter where they can give dogs better haircuts. Oh my god, it's terrible. Um, okay, so I have a call in ten minutes, so nah. we might have to pause this because no, we still have so much more to talk it. about. Um, okay, so the the health trends. This is kind of cool. You're able to share your health data with somebody. So if I share my health data with you and you get an alert, if like I, which actually <laughs> this did happen not too long ago, where my heart rate just freaking dropped and I almost passed out. Like you would have got a notification. Yeah, hopefully I'm looking for it. Well, yeah, like whenever I said, um, uh, Jenna, hey, wow, I- uh, You're so dramatic. I passed out. You're so dramatic. From you're Tahoe. So, and then I think after that, you realize that almost every day you say, oh, I almost passed out. And now you stop saying it because I just don't take you seriously. But when I say almost, there's a difference well, from saying you, almost to I passed out. But you say it so much, I read that you almost passed out. Yeah. So I ignored you. See, now you would get a notification that my heart rate dropped to like 30 something and I Dude, was not well. I have my own problems to worry about, but I would also be like, okay. And then I could text you and call you from that notification, yeah. and which is pretty cool. I think that's good because there's, there's a lot of different, you know, it's better than being like, hey, send me your health information if it's someone that, you know, you're, you're, worried yeah. about or whatever. Yeah. Or like I think your family, like yeah. your, your parents or something like that, you'll be able to keep on trend. And then with that walking, like the new steadiness thing too, you're able to also like, if, if that detects something like you're able, it'll send it to you. But yeah, the, I love everything that um, Apple is doing with, with health. They're also have access to like your lab reports yeah. and they'll kind of give you like a, they were showing, I think like cholesterol, it's like showing you mm -hmm. like, oh, this is good or this is the bad cholesterol. So it'll kind of explain things to you. Yeah, um, so that's pretty good. I mean, the yeah. lab stuff isn't new because I feel like you could always connect through like your healthcare like portal and your information would go there. But what's new is them kind of helping you better understand what's like good, bad, and like th that type of thing. So that's yeah. that's pretty good. And so healthcare providers are gonna have to opt into this. Um, the API obviously is open, so they would just have to kind of work with yeah. whatever company that is. Um, Watch OS, they've got a new mindfulness app. I need it. I'm not they've worried. got uh, like the new Calm app and then a Reflect app. So it'll say, it'll give you a prompt of like, Jenna, think about what you're grateful for Absolutely today. Absolutely not. I'd be like, please don't do that. I like that. I like that for people. Not for I you. I hate it for myself. Yoga, meditation, I need, I don't, nope, nope. nope I think nope. it has an opposite effect on you. Dude, it makes me so mad and anxious. Like I, one time in yoga, I was like, I'm gonna have a panic attack. Yeah. Oof. I'm into it. Yeah, no, I think it's not. I think I like it's good for, I think it's nice for people. There's new Pilates interested. and Tai Chi workouts. Ooh, I like that. There's a new portrait mode. So it kind of is like a little 3D effect. I like that. Like that. Um, 
home OS they were talking about, obviously like, you know, the, I don't think they ever named it home OS, but I think that was something that <laughs> I know everyone keeps, I don't think, I think it's just called home. No, I know. But that was, they were thinking they were going to be launching. This, that does not flow new, nicely. It doesn't flow very nicely, but it's like that operating system of taking TV home and everything and kind of putting it into one. I get it, but I get why they're just calling it home. <laughs> yes. I think. Um, HomePod is coming to Austria, Ireland, New Zealand, and Italy at the end wait, of this the year. Wait, the HomePod? Didn't they stop that? No, they've still got small HomePod. HomePod small. Small. HomePod small. You know, you know my thoughts on HomePod small. Well, oh, how much I is cute? I love HomePod. I love HomePod so much. I have so many HomePods. Yeah, I think you're the one who kept them in business for I so long. I think I did. I freaking love the HomePod. It just, it's great. Um, Siri is coming to third party devices. Oh shoot. Like what? Like freaking like possible like Nest or something like, I forget what um, it was. They showed it. It was like the Echo B. Um, I missed that. that part. Yeah, I missed okay, that. It's fine, okay, it's fine. that's interesting. I mean, I f okay. Uh, Mac OS Monterey Universal Control was my favorite thing that they announced. At Very the, nice. Oh my god! So you can hook up to three devices. You can hook up even three iMacs. Like, guess what? We have three iMacs. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna test we're, it out. We're gonna hook them all up. So you can have- You do have three iMacs. We also have three iPads. I know, you can have three different devices. So you can have your Mac, your iPad, and even maybe a MacBook. And you basically can move your mouse cursor across all three devices. And it just basically happens magically. You can drag and drop files. Super, super cool. Oh, I like drag and drop. So I would just yeah. copy it over. Yeah, so it just copies it over. It's kind of using Bluetooth and uh, like Wi-Fi to connect them all together. I like that, that's I nice. I know. Did you know I don't own an iPad? I did know that. I was letting it sink in. Isn't it crazy? Shortcuts coming to Mac. Do I don't. You, I don't. You, I don't, you don't, don't use shortcuts, shortcuts either. Cuts. But I like that I have options. Uh, Safari has an all new update. Yes, they have uh, tabs to maximize your space as mm -hmm. well as kind of blend in a little bit more seamless. That also goes for the um, iOS and Mac OS. Yeah, I'm so hyped about Mac OS. I like um, Safari. Monterey, 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 Mon Monetary, Monterey, 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 Monter what the <clears throat> heck? So I have a call here in like four minutes, but I just wanted to say that this past week I have realized that I need to get a real chair because I've been sitting on this incredible secret lab gaming chair that is my sister's husband and- Other I, sister. Other sister, not this one. I don't uh, like marriage. I, mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I uh, agree to that <laughs> sentiment as well. <laughs> we don't like marriage or children, yeah, um, but this gaming chair is something that I'm very into. It's so nice. I mean, you ha you sit, we sit on terrible things for your podcast. You sit on a kitchen <laughs> stool for streaming and editing. It's like- I, I know. Like, Why do you do this? You have a nice Herman Miller chair, but you need to get like a nicer one. I mean, one. I'm sitting on a dining room chair. Dude, the Herman Miller Logitech. Oh my God. Hey, if you're listening. Beautiful. Do we you are want to sponsor our Could podcast? You, or living spaces. Can some, living like, spaces. I'm sitting here, my back hurts so bad. Well, these are our sister's bar stools. So it's like, this isn't, no one ever sits on these. I have lost so much money on this podcast. It's like not even funny at this point. It's living like. spaces. I have lost. So much, money. but you know how Living Spaces has a section at the airport. Yes, that could be our podcast. They could be, they, I, my house is entirely all Living Spaces because they basically deliver things within three days. Well, have you reached out? No, used your influence. What's the no. point? Should if I let them know that I love them? Yes. Okay. Here's what you're gonna do. What am I gonna do? Read your house. Well, you're no, you don't need to read. I'm your already house. Redoing. get a sponsorship, and like at the airport, you can have a, a little oh sign God, a sign that says like this was sponsored by Living Spaces, so but it's like, like your house. Oh, I it'll love be that. So fun. It'll be so great. But it'll make it like art, like you can put on the wall. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's just this is why I get paid the big bucks. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. We oh, have we're to done? go. I I only have one minute until my call. I gotta go dial in. I gotta get on the hop on teams. Yeah, we've talked about everything we needed to talk about. We thank did. Thank you guys so much for watching and for listening. Uh, make sure you leave us reviews. We will get to them next time. Sorry, this was a little bit rushed. Um, you can leave us Apple Podcast reviews as well as Anchor voice messages. Anchor.fm slash same brain. You can see us on YouTube and all the social media. Same brain. And we will see you again next time. I just turned around to make sure we were recording. I probably Are should you have done that me? at the beginning. We're recording, Jenna. We're recording. I gotta go take a nap, but I don't have time. I'll see you guys later. Bye.